I want to introduce you guys to this. This is my big sister, one of my my mentors. She, she's the, the woman that took me under her wing in regards to advancing my social consciousness. Uh, she's the national chairwoman for the new Black Panther Party for Self Defense, Sister Crystal Muhammad, and they're going to be picking up our donations today um, for our, our waters and whatever else you guys got. I did say whoever brought the most cases of water that I'll give a free coaching session. So we're gonna tally that up. If anybody that brought, who here brought more than one case? You know who won? Somebody, somebody, okay. All right, he said he knows. So I'm gonna let Brandon do that. So I wanna say something real quick. Um, and I'll have Sister Crystal share a few words if she'd like to. But I know in all this Harvey donating, there was a lot of controversy over the Red Cross or who do we give to. Uh, our brother Rasby Rawls on the ground, we co-signed that. I put out there the www.nbbp, New Black Panther Party, nbpp, blackcross.com. And we got some feedback that from more um, commercial or mainstream black folk that being associated with the New Black Panther Party wasn't a good look because of what somebody says they stand for, what our oppressor says they stand for. And so my, my words to that, my challenge to you is that we do things every single day where we co-sign and endorse America, right, as an organization, as a, as a nation, where we're just a part of the American system. But we've seen firsthand and has been documented how this system has oppressed us and treated us unfairly like second-class citizens. But yet we still do things where we, we pay taxes and we contribute to the growth of America, you know, even though they've been dogging us out for 450 years. But then we get groups like the New Black Panther Party, who people outside of our community have said they're taboo, they're hate groups, they're somebody you shouldn't be associated with, but we can't find none of the hate. Nowhere have they went and oppressed people, enslaved people, Cointel Pro people, black coded people, mass incarcerated people, stop and frisk people, murder people. Nowhere have they done these corrupt things towards us or any other color or nation of people but we'll be and stand far from and be taboo towards groups that have actually stood and fought for us, but then embrace groups and organizations in a nation that has literally oppressed us and murdered us. And so consider the source when you are considering what groups you sponsor, you align yourself with, and you endorse yourself with. I'm not scared to stand next to strong, revolutionary, black love, black oriented groups that have fought and stood for my people. That's just me. I don't need someone else from outside or the bourgeoisie part of my community to co-sign or endorse who I should support or show love to. I'm looking at your actions. One of the biggest things that America has done, done a great job of, is that giving us mixed signals. Is they telling you, I want everybody to do this real quick. Everybody follow me, right? Just get your hands ready. Get your hands ready. I want everybody to do what I say. You ready? All right, Gene, I want your camera. Don't worry about me. I want your camera on them somewhere. All right. I want everybody to do what I say. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Yes, All right, y'all ready. Everybody do what I say. Pat your ear. Pat your, why you pat your nose? Pat your ear. Pat your ear, King, your ear. Why you was on your nose for? You saw what I was doing. That's what America been doing to us forever. They saying we equal. We equal. I'm going to whoop your ass, but I'm going to tell you we equal. I'm going to give you shit schools, but I'm going to tell you we equal. I'm never going to repair you, give you redress, restitution, reparation, repair aid, or nothing like that after your enslavement, after exploiting you. But guess what? We equal. They've been giving us the biggest mixed signals in the world. They're telling you to pat your nose, pat your ear while they touch their nose. They've been telling us that we equal while they punch us in the nose. Stop listening to what they tell us and look at what they show us. Stop looking at what they tell us about the Black New Black Panther Party, about the Nation of Islam. Stop listening to what they tell us about these groups, but watch what these groups show us about how they care about us. It's great, man. I think it's uh, good what you're doing for us, teaching the block, uh, block by block. Um strategies man i think it's good about the economics economics is where it said we need the land and we definitely need the real estate and uh, that's what the brother's doing like she said he's not just doing it 
going on the internet or doing it uptown, he's coming back to the hood, and I think that's very that's important. It, that's and then, and uh, what I like the most that's is that he talked way. about the decision that we make. Cause I, we go buy the Jordans or we go buy a Gucci belt, and we say we ain't got no money. But when it comes to something that's very important, we don't want to invest that type of money. So it's about the mindset. Our bodies is a slave to our minds, so anything that we put our minds to, we can do. So what this brother is teaching, we can do it if we just put our minds to it. Facts on facts. Peace. Appreciate you. I'm going to end with this poem I wrote called Black Love. It's one of my favorite poems. I often wonder 